Welcome back to Tractor Doctor TV. Today, guys, we're going to go over the projects I have been working on. So, guys, you can see here that I'm in my office. Um, that is because it has been windier than windy all week. Um, so we're going to go over what projects I have been I've been working on in the wind. Um, I'm going to explain why there's not going to be a video for to finish the uh, 830 case, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about what like I said the projects I'm doing. So we'll get started. So guys, the first project we're going to talk about is the 640 or six yeah 640. The 640, we I think on Crazy D channel we call it the 6 uh, 601. It's actually a 640. Um, I'm having some problems with getting it to stay running. I have I think I have gotten those problems fixed, but the new problem I have is I got to fix the starter because the little pin that holds the end in has uh, decided to come out. Um, uh, but other than that guys, that's pretty much all there is for that project. Um, we'll go to the next project. The next project guys is the, uh, will be the H, which was my last video. Um, I know I didn't uh, run wires and, and stuff and, and started it for you guys on that video, which I have been working on getting that ready for getting working on getting that ready i'm not sure i'm gonna do any more i do another video on on that point or that part of it um i do know i'm 180 degrees um at a time which is going to be not too hard to fix and i may show you how to fix that um the get to the 830 the 830 is going to be the longer part of this. Um, I used to do the video before la the my uh, no spark video. I worked on an 830 case, so it goes down to the lot up there at the uh, Omega equipment sales. Um, we had pulled. We had so I've shown you how to take that pump apart, and I our friend from Wisconsin. Uh, had come down to get some more stuff from us, and we got, I got to talking to him about that pump or that valve body, and he told us he, he brought us one because we were looking for parts for it, and he just brought one down because he happened to have one, and he was telling us not just don't waste your time rebuilding them. He was telling us that he had to buy the little pistons in there. For the the valve, he had to buy those separate. He had to buy the O-ring separate. He bought the gasket separate. Um, he said by the time he was done, he almost he spent about eight to nine hundred dollars on just just individual pieces. So, and he said local his local salvage yard, it was like a hundred and fifty if you pulled it off, and it was like three hundred if they did it. So, I mean, value-wise, it, it's just easier to, faster, and a little bit easier to just go get one from the salvage yard. Because, it, I guess, really, guys, you look at it monetarily, because that's how Dave, Crazy D and I have to look at things. Because, you know, we're, we're at a point where we, we're fixing something to where it works good enough, it works. Not just good enough, but works. For for a customer to be, be able to, a customer could go out and, and buy this tractor and go out and use it and have no problems. So, in the long run, for just a few hundred dollars, guys, to get the right to get a part, a working one from, like, I don't know, for us to be like uh, Mike's Machines, Abilene Machine, somewhere like that here in Kansas wherever your salvage yard is up there or where you're at and you're you're back to moving it's just four bolts on the back side 
There are two on the back side, two on the front side. And um and then that pump is off. So so we just decided that it was easier just to replace it. Um so that's that's why there's not gonna be a video how to take that pump apart. Um the next thing is guys we're going to do is talk about upcoming projects. I have a Oliver ninety nine, I believe. That will we uh Gonna put a fan belt in, and that's gonna be interesting because it's not what you're gonna, what you guys are gonna think on that. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, there's little T E Ferguson that Dave and I, or Crazy D, Dave and I, or Crazy D, same difference. But we're wanting to do a video on and we're, we're waiting on parts and a lot of projects is one reason I'm doing this video is a lot of my projects I'm waiting on parts with this pandemic going on still it's got where shipments from uh, out of overseas were um, used to be all the time it's just no big deal but now it's like I still waiting on it. in fact guys my uh, Joe, the guy that helps us buy tractors, had bought a uh, rebuild kit for a D17 that we're, whenever it finally comes, I want to do a video on how to rebuild an engine. So when that comes in, guys, and he ordered that in August, and it still hasn't come yet. So it's one of those things that's probably waiting to come in from the foreign nation that's being built in. And... It's just like I said, this pandemic thing has just slowed me, slowed down, down everything. It makes it hard to fix things for you guys, and and that's why I, my all well, my a lot of my videos are kind of like this, like these right now. But when we get things rolling again, and we should be back to doing more fixing of things. So um, at that point, guys, I think we're at. Thanks for coming and watching, and you made it this far, I'll give you a thumbs up, because it, it's kind of not what my channel normally is, so. Anyways, guys, um, like I was saying, at that point where I think it's time to say, if you like the video and you think it's worth sharing, go for it. Um, only other thing I'm going to start kind of doing, guys, is... I ask you to go ahead and subscribe. It don't cost you nothing. And if you get bored with me, you can always unsubscribe. I mean, it's that simple. So, other than that, guys, thanks for coming in and watching. See you next time. Bye.